All right, uh, let's look at the problem number four. All right, so we want to find the vertex form of this uh, following uh, quadratic function. And then we want to find uh, uh, intercepts, vertex, max or min, and range. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so first, uh, uh, first thing I would do is I'm going to, so you have a S of X. I'm going to pull out a negative two from the first two terms. So you have a negative 2 pulled out. So you have uh, x squared. And then uh, if you sub, uh, pull out the negative 2 from negative 16, so that's, go that's going to be positive 8x. All right. Then I'm going to actually give uh, a little bit of room and a, neg a minus 30 just to write it at the end. All right then what we're gonna do is I'm going to add and subtract All right so in order to complete the square we need the third term which is always uh, the coefficient uh, of X and divide by 2 uh, which is um, 4 then uh, square that so I'm going to add 14 uh, sorry 16 4 squared and the subtract to 16 All right this way we don't change anything Right, but uh, I'm going to keep those uh, three terms in the parentheses because we have x squared plus 8x and plus 16. Right, then what we're going to do is I'm going to distribute this negative uh, 2 to the, uh, the last uh, uh, term negative 16. To, to get the, um, right, so negative 2 times negative 16 is positive uh, 32, right, so just to get it outside, uh, out of the parentheses, and then you still have minus 30 there, right, then we can just clean it up, so negative 2 is still there, just a factor, right, x squared plus 8x plus 16 is going to be x plus uh, 8 divided by 2, so it's 4, then squared, right, so we could complete the square, so 32 minus 30 would be uh, positive 2, right, so this is the vertex form, right, so let's find the A, uh, intercepts, Alright, so if you want to find the y, let's do the easy one, uh, y intercept, right, which means that uh, we set uh, x equals 0, right, so we just have to find uh, s of 0, right, s of 0 would be, it's actually the original equation is e easier, so x equals 0, so first term is 0, second term is 0, so it's a negative 30. Right, so this is the y-intercept is negative 30. Right, to find the x-intercept, uh, remember that the, we have to set the y equal to 0. So y is the function. So we're going to set the function equal to 0. Right, so let's do that. Right, so a uh, function uh, is, uh, I'm going to use this guy here. Uh, negative 2, x plus 4 squared so plus 2 so this is the function written in vertex form so we have to set this guy equal to 0 All right then let's solve that so this is going to be All right first I'm going to put the negative 2 on the other side by subtracting 2 negative 2 uh, x plus 4 squared is equal to negative 2 All right then we can just uh, divide through by uh, negative 2. Then we get uh, simply x minus 4 squared is equal to negative 2 divided by negative 2 is actually 1. Right? Then we can take the uh, square root of both sides. Let's see. Uh, square root of both sides. Then we get uh, x plus 4. Right? Uh, is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 is 1 right remember to put plus or minus then last step would be if you subtract to 4 x is going to be if it's plus 1 plus 1 minus 4 is negative 3 
and if it's negative 1, negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. Right? So there are two uh, x-intercepts uh, which are negative 3 and a negative 5. Right? So we got part A. Part B, right? vertex. Right? So B, vertex would be, you can just uh, look at the um, vertex. Right? Look at the uh, vertex form. Right? So here, a uh, y coordinate that comes from here, so it's a positive two, right? Since um, a positive four is actually shifting to the left by four, so it's a uh, negative four, right? So you have to negate this number to get the x coordinate. That you get this number for the um, y coordinate, right? So that's the vertex, and the maximum and the minimum. Right, so you notice that um, there is a reflection involved because of the negative sign here. So this parabola is going to have a shape uh, which looks like this. So it's uh, it's looking like, like this, right? So it's uh, facing down. So we can only find the maximum, right? And the maximum value happens at the vertex, so we know that uh, a part C, um, the C is going to be, right, so max value is going to be uh, uh, S of at the negative, X equals negative 4, then maximum value is positive 2, right, so maximum value is positive 2, which occurs when X equals negative 4. All right, the range is going to be, you can see that the, this function takes all the values all the way up to the max value, which is 2. So the um, range is going to be, right, start from negative infinity, then all the way up to the max value, which is 2, including 2. All right, so this would be the range of this uh, uh, quadratic function. All right. Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.